I wanted to capture really quick on camera my first impressions of maybe my riskiest blind buy ever of Serge Luton's Queer Moresque. As many other people say, I don't advocate blind buying. You don't want to end up with a bunch of bottles that you don't really like. I'm lucky enough to live in a big city where I can try most anything that I want before I buy it. So blind buying is fairly rare for me. But Serge Luton's forces our hand since pulling out of the US. It's really impossible to find anywhere to sample them. Of course, his website still distributes to the US, so it's, it's not that hard to buy them. And uh, discounters readily have much of the line as well. But it's very difficult to test them if you haven't before. I know that decanters are available. I've seen on Mercari, samples are for sale, but they often range from 15 to $20 for a little sample. And every time I come close to doing that, I just think, well, that's money that could go towards the full bottle that I don't wanna waste on just testing it. So I've never bought a Serge Luton's that I hated. I never had an unsuccessful blind buy with Luton's. This one made me nervous though, because some reviews well, reviews are all over the place, from people absolutely loving it, saying it's their favorite Lutons, to people saying it's really difficult, really weird. What worries me personally is the animalic notes. It's listed as containing civet and caraway or cumin, two notes that I don't particularly like. Um, so here we go. Another funny story about this is I had ordered it, I thought about ordering this many times, and several months ago I ordered it, and I got cold feet and the next day I emailed Fragrance Buy and said, can I cancel that order? It hasn't shipped yet, I'm so sorry. I changed my mind. They very graciously allowed that, so they canceled my order. The very next day I got the notice that Iris Silver Mist was back in stock and I felt like it was really fate that canceling that order opened up the funds to buy Iris Silver Mist, something I wanted a long time. But ever since then I've, I've had this on my mind and it came back in stock on Fragrance Buy for an even better price than before. So everything seemed to work out perfectly. Um, another interesting fact uh, you all may know, they say on the website that this is Serge's own fragrance, the only fragrance he wears. Also, as I just demonstrated, these Grat Ciel's, the sprayer does come off. You can un, uh, unwind this and open it up, I guess, easy for decanting. So here we go. Never smelled before. Serge Luton's Queer Mores. We're going straight on skin. Let's hope she's not too animalic. Those Grat Ciel's, I know some people are annoyed by them. I actually think it really is a beautiful bottle, a beautiful object, and the sprayer on them is magnificent. Um, ooh, I'm smelling it now. So yeah, I got some people had said things like um, toilet, what's the urinal puck smell. Other people said like latex or hospital. And I'm getting that. There is a real medicinal freshness, sort of in the way that tuberose criminelle has a freshness, but it comes from menthol. It doesn't come from citrus. It doesn't come from blue notes. This has a real bracing sort of medicinal smell to it. I suppose this is the orange. Yeah, it's giving me like a cloves and orange kind of smell. You know, it's not a million miles off of the opening of Frederick Malls Noir piece. Um, although out the gate, this smells a little more complex. Interesting, it's really interesting. It smells very complex. I am smelling a little bit the cumin and the animal, animalistic funk, animalic funk in there. But yeah, I think the orange is really strong. I'd say already the, um, the medicinal opening is, is starting to calm down. But yeah, I see the urinal, the urinal cake message. I'll say I'm not disappointed. It's very intriguing. Um, it does seem like it's going to be a challenging wear, not an everyday wear, but maybe one that will reward multiple wearings. Mm, yeah, it's getting more spicy, turning more into that Luton's um, kind of holiday spice melange. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of clove, resins, Others have said this as well. I don't particularly get leather, um, but 
there's sort of a furry animalicness to it that I suppose could um, invoke the smell of leather a little bit, but it's more like old leather, like an old leather jacket, not like a fine, like Hermes type leather. Yeah, really interesting so far. It smells more like, yeah, a vintage or ancient, like apothecary kind of smell. Um, like, yeah, all these herbal medicines, you can just open up the cabinet and you get a big waft of it. So yeah, that's all I really have to say so far. I would say not a disappointment. Is it? It's different than I expected. It's brighter than I expected. Less leathery than I expected. I'd say about as animalic as I expected. It is there. It's definitely not clean. <laughs> and it's definitely not an easy smelling fragrance right now. Um, but I can see this being really beautiful in the winter. Unfortunately, we're heading into hot, humid summer grossness right now. But you know you buy these things when you can. Um, so there we go. Just very first early impressions of Serge Luton's Queer Moresque. Hope you enjoyed.